Hello everybody and welcome along to the next episode of the RNG career mode, my team, F122. That's not the order those words are supposed to be said in, but that's the way I've said it in today. So, today is the, my home race, it's Silverstone, it is the British Grand Prix. We had a fantastic result last time out, I'll show you the standings in just a moment, but really good race, our first points actually for the team, which was awesome. So hopefully, our bad luck is now over, and we can maintain the momentum for our home Grand Prix, but... Have we got enough downforce to deal with the very high-speed corners of Silverstone? Why not just a moment? Hello, Jamie. Welcome along. So, there's the current standings. Unfortunately, we do still have to scroll, but we only have to scroll one click now to find ourselves. It's not too bad. We've now got four points. We've got a little way to try and beat Daniel Ricciardo in the standings, but we're no longer right at the bottom of the field. As you can see, we've got a P8 in the last race. A, a well-deserved one as well, actually. We did get a little bit lucky here and there, but we are owed a little bit of luck after. You can see the run of results we've had. It's been absolutely disastrous. P8 was our best result by quite some way. Let's get into that, guys. So there's nothing we can do in the area department because we're actually going to be department capacity reach, so nothing to do there. We've got a couple of upgrades we can do in the chassis department, weight reduction and tyre wear. Nothing to do in the engine department for the same reason to park capacity reach. And unfortunately, we have got some things we can do in the durability department, uh, which we don't really want to get on the car, but we have to put them in. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. We've got a thousand resource points. I think we can afford them all. I haven't actually checked that. We can afford them all. Absolutely. We can even afford multiple upgrades, actually. So let's get the wheel spinning then. That's the four upgrades. We don't want any durability upgrades. Either the other two would be lovely. Weight reduction. Yeah, finally, finally, this weight reduction upgrade, it chose it like almost at the start of the season because the RNG system has, has denied us having it. It will just sneak on time for Silverstone. So that is going to be a guaranteed upgrade for Silverstone. 950 points left. Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to spin the wheel for the durability department and the durability department only because those are the rules. It just is what it is. We're going to have to get one of the durability, durability upgrades. We don't really want them. That being said, we have had a couple of uh, retirements this season, so it's not going to be a bad thing. And there's going to be a turbo durability upgrade, which is not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's skip some time then. So the pistons upgrade is the first one. Pistons, we want to see green, not red. Don't care about that. Green, not red. Green. Yeah, lovely. Uh, let's pause it there. Oh, a supplier upgrade as well. A wastegate actuator. What does that do? What does that do? That's another minor engine power. So we've had two minor engine powers. Nice. Now, we can't quite afford that one. We can afford that one. Oh, that's the ERS. I was about to say we don't want it. We do want it. We can just about afford that. Unfortunately, though, we have to also put in a save points option. We want the ERS upgrade. ERS. ERS. No, stop. Oh. The RNG will hates us. Good. If we get more points, we can run it again. We get more points on the 27th. And now we can run it again, but with both of those upgrades on, and as well, there's nothing else valid that we can put on the car, we're guaranteed to get one of these two on. So engine power or ERS, that's our two choices. Give us ERS, we want the blue one. ERS, ERS, keep going, keep going, it's not going to get there, it's going to be engine power. Good! Oh, Ben's probably very happy about this. Ben doesn't like ERS upgrades. I love ERS upgrades. Uh, it's still engine power. It's still performance. I can't be too upset about it. Uh, okay, so we're now going to skip some more time. We've got two upgrades due on the car. The weight reduction... In fact, they're both guaranteed. They're both 100% guaranteed. They, they are. They are. They've gone on the car. Lovely. We've got a fairly hot lap to do here. I'm going to choose the autocross because they are more fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was trying to configure my brake. Can I reach it still? No, I can't. I just embraced it. So we might still be able to do it. We have we have occasionally beaten them by over 10 seconds. Slalom down the straight. Oh, no, no. We bottled it again. Yeah, that's normally just an easy straight. They made it full-on difficult corners. That's why I love this game mode so much. Oh, it turns out it's really hard to drift through them. Oh, come on! I'm obviously not worrying too much now because I know I've already bottled the run. But I think I may as well. Oh, as I keep going. Genuinely quite challenging, that one. We did try and start drifting through them. So it's going to be a bit easier next time. But... There was a couple that we missed. All right, this is the one. I'm going to smash it by over 10 seconds now. You watch. Oh, yeah. Absolutely nailing it so far. Absolutely smashing it so far. Oh, this is getting so tight. That was not ideal. Another, another, another supercar token. I've already unlocked the supercars game. Oh, my God. This is almost a perfect run. Oh, no. A little bit deep in there. It's okay. We'll cover that back. Is it flat to the line? I think it might be. We absolutely nailed that. Over 10 seconds. 12 seconds quicker than the goal time. We absolutely nailed that. That was such a good run. 
by far the best ever driven in a supercar in this game. Go to the Silverstone weekend. Let's see our cars before. We've had three upgrades for this race, I think. Have we moved forward? We have moved forward. Oh, we're just still, though, the ninth fastest team. But we're right in there with Alpha Tauri now. So uh, that's, that's certainly good progress. Engine power as well. So we should be a bit quicker in the streets, which would be absolutely delicious. Let's crack on then, guys. 104 AI for Quali. I forgot to change the engine. Why am I like this? I'm out of times I bottled Quali in this series. For various reasons. I've done this before as well. It's the exact thing before. Tell you what, I'm going to restart the session quickly. I'm going to see if there's a few components I can change before we get, before we get started. 70% where... Okay, well, look, let's take a new gearbox. That's right on the upper end of that time that could have been. Let's also take a new combustion engine. 13 minutes. We can just squeeze a lap in having done those two changes. That's going to have to do for quality then, guys. So where are we at the moment? We've still got three minutes left in the session. If we quickly... Oh, I need to be better to set up. Four laps of fuel and hope we can just sneak in two laps. Oh, I didn't mean to skip time. Now we probably can't fit in that amount of laps. So slow at driving out. And we're putting some traffic. 150, no, definitely not, not one. One lap only. Big old bottle of quality. We can get one lap to try and not be on the back row of the grid. Oh, dude. Why am I like this? It's so easy to forget. Do everything we can. We've got the new combustion engine in now. New gearbox. Porsche sounds like Stroll's closing in on us. And he's near the back. So if he's also able to keep up with us, that's not a good sign for us, guys. Yeah, Stroll's literally closed us down. Let's hope Stroll's on a storm here. Because Stroll's at the back at the moment. I think we're at the back of the grid here, guys. We're back. Ah, oh, dude. Why am I so good at bottling quality at the moment? And also, I keep bottling quality. I get 100 grand to beat my teammate. 100 grand. And I keep getting beaten by him. Why am I so bad, man? And I also can't judge the AI based on that. AI level is 104 a bit high. I might tweak it down by one click. We should be up there with the Alpha Tauri. It's on paper, we've got, we've got Alpha Tauri pace. So, what's that? Like nine tenths. So, yeah, I'm actually going to tweak it down by two. We're going to go back down to 102 AI, I think. Why am I, why am I an idiot? Well, yeah, true. May as well take another engine penalty. Let's just do it there, guys. Pain. All of the pain. Keep bottling quality. Not good. All right, so race strategy then. Oh, we could need to start randomise, of course, the uh, the starting tyre. So let's do that. So it's basically medium to hard or hard to medium. Softs could make things very spicy. So I actually think we do want even medium or hard in this one. Don't think I've got that much of a preference. Probably would rather it wasn't softs. But softs it is. That's probably my least popular choice because that guarantees us... You're running very long. Medium was, was a good old kind of in the middle strategy, but we're going to have to start on soft. So I think I probably am going to aim for soft to straight to hards. Doesn't feel like a great strategy, but we need to make up for it on the start. We need to push like hell on the start. So here we go. Everyone else on mediums. We're the only one on softs. Another little bug. So it's a five lap penalty. Five uh, place good penalty. We had a lot more than that. Softs don't last long around here. Yeah, I know. I mean, the game's suggesting we box on lap seven. So the softs are going to feel okay for a very short period of time. And then they're going to start to go off a bit, but still be okay. And then they're really going to go off and we're going to need to pit. That'll do. Mm, probably a little bit too much to the inside, but it'll have to do. Right, come on. Soft tyres. We'll have a good start here. Everyone else on mediums. We should better jump a few. Let's go. AI is so good at starts. They're going to be so slow through turn one, though. To lift off slightly there. Oh, what the hell was that? I had no time to react to that. <sighs> hell is that? Go from right back here. See, well out that area then. Oh, they don't do it now. Brilliant. Oh, my word. Best go full send. Oh, I can't do a lot here. They're three wide. I can't make it four wide. It's not going well for me. Better. Oh, let me slow, let me slow. Have to break a little bit. We've got the inside backed out though, so I've chosen a good horse here. Vettel's gone the quickest out of anyone. Yes, defend on going outside if I can. Send. Oh, that's too deep, is it? The three wide. Oh my word, what a move that was. The soft tyres are wonderful. Up to P15. It was actually quite a cautious start in the end. Up to P15. That was close. Already 9% wear on the rears. That's not good. Okay, that was a lovely start. 22nd to 15th. Oh, dude. Was a bit late in the day, so I guess I deserved that. Oh, two warnings. Oh, they've, they've, they've dive on the Alpine. That's allowed me to go through on him as well. We've got two warnings. And tried so hard to make up for this. Oh, God. It's tried so hard to benefit from this soft tyre run at the start. And I'm up to P12. 
Oh, I wanted to go up the inside there. I didn't quite have the grips to do so. Can I go on the outside here with these soft tyres? Doesn't look like it. No, I haven't got a downforce to do that. Oh my word, that was a big moment. That was a huge moment. I felt like there was contact, but I don't think there was. No, look at that. Just a huge snap on the exit. Whoa. Oh, quite I know where to go, but to back out. Which helped me a little bit. Just needed it so far. Oh, one more off track and I get a penalty. Go away, Ocon. This is not an overtaken opportunity, buddy. One more off track, guys. We get a penalty. We need to be ultra careful here. Magnus is still holding up the Mercedes, which is good news for us. Do we burn the RS here? I think we do. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I'm trying to make hay while the sun shines here on these softs. Squeeze him out. Job done. Up to P11 now. This is going fantastically. But it was always going to go. Oh, so slow. I very nearly hit him. I had to lock up the inside tyre there. Oh, I lifted so much to avoid the penalty there. I still got a bit lucky to do so. Oh, come on, dude. I deserve some space there. They just did their typical thing of just forcibly turning in. Let's try and sit with Magnussen. Our tyres already started to be a bit worn. This has been a lively start. We're up to P10, though. We're actually at the points right now. Somehow. We're actually going to undercut these guys. But only to hards. Their mediums will probably still be doing okay when we box. So I don't know if the undercut is really going to work like it normally would. Oh, a bit of a rotation there slightly on the curb. Magnussen also has a slide through the corner. They're batting ahead. They're still side by side ahead. Look at this. We're gaining on them. That's for P7. What result will that would be? P8 in the last race. Okay, we're actually pulling away from the pack, guys, which is really encouraging. I know we're on the softs. We're starting to wear. We're pulling away from them, but I expect Ocker will start to stretch that pack now because, again, the Alpine is very fast. What I might actually do here is stay out until we start dropping back. And then only box when we fall out of DRS rain. So that'll give us fresher tyres at the end. Of course, in theory, the later we box, the bigger undercut we'll get on them because their tyres will be more and more worn. Oh, hello. Oh, why is he going for it here, dude? Just let him go. Oh, I hold it, but oh, we can lose DRS, not quite. Squeeze him on the apex there. It was very tight trying to make that move. We hold him off. We don't actually lose that much time until the car's ahead, miraculously. By the way, Hamilton, Russell's teammate in the same car, is fighting for the lead. So... Told you we didn't want to let Russell through, and that's exactly why. I knew he had a quick car. I didn't know it was quite that quick. Was he starting to get better exits than me? Yeah, he's doing it again. No, he's not. No, he's not. We're okay. Go well within DRS range as well. Yeah, see, that's silly now. That's going to cost me time. I think if you box this out, they're going to start doing that. That's a great move, to be fair. No idea how Magnus managed manage that. Should we go for it on? Schumacher here, see if we can stick with Magnussen for one more lap. So they shouldn't battle now because there's, there's nobody to battle with. I've just overtaken the, okay. you know, the guy that could have battled. Well, so we've had a balance. Are we going to stay out for now? Up to P9, guys. Yeah, we are struggling now. Look. Oh, Russell, they must have battled quite heavily behind. They've just fallen back from me. We have to use a lot of DRS on this in laps. Try and see if we can stick with in uh, Magnussen's DRS range. We don't long get DRS on him, I'm pretty sure. So there's no sense staying out any longer than this. We've stayed out for as long as we possibly could. Box on lap 8, we should have a nice clear track. Let's hope their tyres started to go off a little bit. No traffic lights, unfortunately, for this, this, this pit box. So shut up. Oh, come on. Oh, we did not need that. 4.8 seconds stop. Lost two seconds. Ah, oh, we did not need that. It was already quite marginal staying in the points battle, but let's hope the undercut's powerful. So, these tyres are definitely quicker than our old tyres. That doesn't necessarily mean they're quicker than the, the semi-worn mediums. Maybe we can get a good undercut on them here. This could be an OP strap we've just discovered here, you know? You never know. Okay, stand by. We see a problem oh. Are you joking? Don't retire from this race again when I'm fighting for points. Just be a little ERS glitch. I don't mind that. Right, it's always at a critical time. Okay, ah. Oh. Like Is that the downforce loss? That's the downforce loss. No, I fell right through that. I fell right through that. If there's an engine issue, it feels fine. I, hasn't, I haven't noticed anything so far. Yeah, has, has, has the glitch glitched and not affected me? As long as we're still doing high 31s, it's not affected us. No, that's, that's our best lap. Not affected us at all. Bottas in the pits. Not too sure where he was, to be honest. We're only two and a half seconds ahead of Bottas, which is not much. Magnussen is one of the people we were racing, so Magnussen will be our first indication here of whether this strategy's worked at all. Where is he? He's all going to pick because we definitely have lost. Should be heading out for Tari, though. There's something. Yeah, we definitely have lost some time. Well, we lost loads. We still might be in, in half a chance of some points here, but Gazi and Bottas behind are going to present a stiff challenge for us. Now we're on the same tyres. We had a good advantage at the start. Yeah, he's all going to pick exit. But if we can be ahead of the red ball, that'd be a great, a great scout. 
Really close. Where is he? There he is. No, it's not. It's an Alpine. The Red Bull's way ahead of us. That's Ocon. Okay, so we have been overtaken. We're now allowed to P11. Just outside the points. Let's try and stick with Ocon here. There's going to be a battle going on ahead as well. Oh, has Magnussen got an issue? Magnussen just suddenly looks quite slow. Went a bit deep there. I'm distracted by it. Our pace isn't bad, you know. We're sticking. We are. We are driving good laps right now. I think that's definitely helping a lot. But we are sticking with Ocon. We have potentially got the pace. If we can nail the laps. We have got the pace to stick with Ocon. Yeah, when Ocon gets DRS, I'm in trouble. And the cars wide are still closing in. Bottas is very fast at the moment. Lewis dropped the rest of the pack, which is good. That's nice enough. Fortunately, he's pretty OP for He's just got more downforce. Ocon's got more downforce than me, no doubt. We are now clinging on for dear life. And when he gets DRS, we're in big trouble. We've got very similar pace to the car ahead, but we're just too marginal on keeping it to Ocon. If he just gets DRS one time, that might be just enough for him to just creep out of DRS range. They side by side ahead there. Can really look at them properly. I'm having to super concentrate. They are side by side now. They're going to be side by side. Going to turn one. That's going to slow down massively. It has slowed off one down. He's just had a wobble there as well. Another wobble. We go for a rocket if we can. No! Oh, I'll be excited. Ah, uh, I can't, I can't burn all my ERS to go for it. It's too risky. I, I need it to be able to stick in DRS range. Oh, my word. Spicy ahead. We're out on the outside. Take advantage of the battling. A too quick in a straight line. I'm going to let him go. Rather than burn all my ERS just to be around the outside of the cops. Stick nice and close to them for now. This is what we wanted. Oh, spicy. Oh, he's boxing. Boxing. Now, that's worrying because Magnussen was the slower one in this pack, but it has got us into the points. What's us all over us as well, though? So this is by no means guaranteed points, but if we can finish off this little mini three pack, I'm assuming it's going to be a three because I assume the two cars in front will pull away. We seem to be in the top 66%, the top two out of three. That's all we need. We are going to battle again. Is the Red Bull just going to pull clear, though? Let's hope he does. But well, he does just. There again. Oh, bad line. But still with the DRS while they're battling. Looks like the Red Bull definitely is the quicker of the, of the pack right now. So he's got into the lead, which is good. He can run away. We need Russell to go with him. And Ocon to fall back from him. Oh, Russell. He's just not able to pull away. Ocon's sticking with him. Look at him. Ocon's closer to Russell than Russell is to the Red Bull. What's going on? Now, this is worrying now because it looks like Oc uh, Russell isn't going to get DRS from Red Bull anymore. I do believe Russell has lost DRS, so that's going to allow Ocon to stick with him easier. What the hell, Russell? Where's your pace, buddy? That Mercedes is properly quick in this game. How the hell is Ocon sticking with him? Maybe we're being too defeatist because we are holding on to Ocon at the moment. Despite him getting DRS off a Mercedes. A lot of can do. We've got a bunch of DRS down here, otherwise we're going to lose DRS. We need to be flat through turn one. We've got to take some risk of track limits. That's nice. That's nice. Absolutely nailed that. I'll keep us in DRS range just... Um, I'm pretty sure, if we do fall out of the ERS range, I'm pretty sure Bottas will breeze past us. We haven't got the ERS charge to defend it. Now, this is normally when the AI switch to OP ERS mode, if they can, but they're not so linear with it this year as they were last year. Oh, my word, I had to push. Lock on and use some ERS down that straight, so I had to push there to make sure I still got DRS. I do still get DRS. All this for one point, but that's the nature of it at the moment. Our car's not the fastest. We've got a little bit here again, just to be safe. Oh, is it not that happy? Couple adjustments there. We do get DRS again. Might be able to hold off uh, Bottas without getting DRS. Oh, here he comes. That's the fence slight there to stop the dive bomb. The AI do sometimes go for a dive bomb this year's game. You see he's flying in a straight line. He's burning a lot of it. That was a good cops though. We're just outside of DRS range though. Ah, uh, we lost it. We lost it by the tiniest of margins. Is Bottas going to break our heart here on the last lap? Oh, he, went, he almost went for it there though. Is that going to compromise him? Okay, we've only got it him a little bit. Have we got enough? Have we got enough in the tank? Looks like we have just. Play on the brakes. Get it stopped. Get it turned. A bit more ERS. Oh, he's gone off the track though. That's compromised him. That could just enable us to get P10. Don't ball it out. Don't ball it out. The last turn. Let's go. P10 feels like a win in this car. Let's go. Good race that. Whew. Oh, let's go. All that for P10. 
Well, that was a great race. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And don't forget, our car on paper is very similar to the Alfa Tauri, and we only beat them by about eight seconds with getting DRS almost the entire race. Definitely, I think the AI was set about right there. I think PI was at absolute maximum today, and we got P10, so I can't be too upset. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, I'm off to get a, to have a meal out now with my, my girlfriend's family, so I'm looking forward to that one. But other than that, guys, I will definitely be live on Monday. Uh, that's about it, really. That's about it from me. I don't think there's any other videos coming out this weekend either. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.